it was also a time of transition for punk. It would, had been a very um, small punk rock community in Hollywood that was full of weirdos and full of like, you know, misfits from all over the city was changing and taking on a very, um, a very male dominated, very uh, jock <laughs> flavored um, feel, you know, and I didn't like it. And, and I think in this, in this particular um, documentary, it's called the decline because you, I, like, to me, it's like, oh yeah, it's the decline of punk rock. Oh. You know, it's like you're seeing it as it's like falling apart. Mm. And uh, I think in those days, if you had asked me, you know, what's going on with punk, I would have said, punk's dead, man. It happened in 77 and now it's over. <laughs> but, um, but it's not true, you know? And I mean, that, the thing about this is that I have perspective now, you know, and I can see like, oh, a bunch of people who hadn't heard of punk, you know, all all over the United States and maybe other countries as well, got their introduction from this film, and um, you know, and hopefully they were able to make something positive and more creative. A few years ago, okay. I decided that I needed to have women tell their own story because because. It was the same sort of thing where I'd have people want to interview me about like the early punk scene. And they'd say, but can you talk mostly about Darby Crash? Or can you tell me a little bit about, you know, like this particular, you know, group of people that they felt like those were the important people. And I'm like, what about all these other people that were involved that helped without whom punk wouldn't exist? So I decided to interview the women who had been, um, part of the, the early movement, because I really feel without the participation of those women, punk would not have been as challenging, as exciting, as diverse, as different and original as it was. The reason that punk is really meaningful is because there were all these, group, these groups of people who had not had a voice before, and they had original voices. And um, you hear that, you hear that in punk. It's different than what came before. So um, it, it happened and all of a sudden nobody was writing about it. We were just being erased from history. So luckily there were, the, you know, there was the, the ability to, I mean, there's, we can now write our own stories there's, and there's an audience for it. You know, there's not, when I was growing up, it was a time where you had to depend on like a published book or a published uh, magazine to tell your st to tell the story. And if you were not fortunate enough to have somebody write about you, you were kind of fucked, you know. And now we can all write our own stories, and we can have blogs, and we can have zines, and we can, you know, make sure that that we document yeah. ourselves so that we feel like you didn't create this. This is all of us, mm. you know.